So apparently your your dad was here on this show back in 1994. Yes, yeah, so one of his scams was actually to get a free vacation. So there was a contest on Good Day New York back in 1994 where they asked for who had the worst first date story. And my dad competed with two other contestants on the, on the, uh, on the show. And then he... He beat them out with a completely fabricated story, and then you guys sent him to the Caribbean. So thank oh you. Oh my God! Well, listen, yeah. I was not here. It was Jim Ryan. Yeah, I wasn't here either. And, okay, so he lied about a date. But, right. But there were other things that were more oh, serious than there's a, there's than a, a ton date. of stuff, and we don't have enough time to get through all the scams. But there are some. There are some big well, ones. Tell us about a doozy. Back in the '90s, he used to call up Madison Square Garden and say that we worked for Sports Illustrated for kids. He would say that I was a reporter and that he was a photographer and that we would uh, get to the garden, they'd hand us press passes because they completely believed it, and then we'd go to the games completely for free without tickets, and then, uh, and then we'd go into the locker room after the game, and I'd interview the players, and I even met and interviewed Michael Jordan that way. Went to, that's a Stanley Cup right there. I was at the Rangers Game 7 Stanley Cup. I sat glass, and uh, then I went into the locker room after the game and met all the players and uh, interviewed them as well. I want to run a, a clip from your podcast here. He wants me to act like my injury is even worse for a payout. He's posing as my attorney in a court. There were moments where Manny would assume the role of undercover police officer. Gary, how did you feel when you saw the federal agents coming in to raid your home? Ooh. And that's where I think it takes an interesting turn because at the right. beginning he's like, ah, he got a free trip on Good Day. Now all of a sudden he's impersonating a police officer. He's committing fraud by trying to have your, that was your sister? Yeah, that was my sister. Yeah, yeah pretend I mean, she's yeah. more hurt. This takes a whole different level. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so I mean, you know, when you have a father who's a con man, yeah, there are some fun stuff. You'll get some free meals. You'll go into Disney and then we'll get in there by, uh, because you used to get stamps back in the day, we'll all lick our hands, we'll get in there for free, <laughs> basically one person pays for a ticket but uh but there's other stuff there's other lies that pile up by the time i was 15 i realized it was time to cut him off so you have no relationship with your father right now no and then so the podcast it, it's basically me on a journey i stopped talking to my dad 24 years ago and the goal is to find out what he's been up to for these past 24 years has he changed is he is he at all different and uh is there a chance at reconciling or is and he, uh, well, that's you got to tune in for the podcast. Oh, we're, only, we're, only at, yeah, we're only in episode five right now, so we're halfway through the season. But each episode comes out weekly. And will we know by the end of this season, or is this like a journey? You will, yeah, you will know by the okay. end of this season. So there's a big payoff, and I think that there's still so many twists and turns as it goes on. I, I'm trying to learn as much as my dad as possible. That you know, I was when I was 15. That's when I cut him off. I, you couldn't take him at his word for anything. But also, there's ways he was treating my uh, my mom. Ways he was treating me and my sisters and you know when we would go to these games and and yeah it's great that my dad and I were able to go to Madison Square Garden but we really weren't going together he wasn't saying that he was my father he was just saying that he was a photographer and I was kind of this child prodigy reporter so we and then we wouldn't even sit together he would be off with the other cameramen and then I'd find a seat somewhere in the press area or I'd be by the glass or anywhere he could locate a seat so we weren't having this normal father bonding moment so we had a comedy kind Come into your life is that a way to kind of yeah. cope with all the craziness <laughs> probably yeah. yeah and but you know my dad was a funny guy so I saw him being able to do all these things and and I looked at him making people laugh and I was like oh he could have he could have been maybe a comedian or he could have been actual a photographer he could have been a lot of these things that he was saying that he was but he just didn't put the the effort into it not and, to be a therapist even though you're on the couch yeah, yeah. <laughs> why do you want to reconnect with him now why? I, I'm, you know, curiosity. I also just had a son of my own, and then th just seeing my son and then reflecting on the relationship that we have, I really wanted to kind of get to the bottom of why my dad made these choices. And again, if he changed, maybe he is different because, you know, life is short, and then you hear all the time where people, you know, lose a parent, and then they realize, oh, maybe there is an opportunity here to say goodbye. And then so I want to have a chance to talk to him again, hopefully before, you know, it's too late. All right, you tell a lot of stories on your comedy tour that don't involve your dad. Correct. And your comedy tour takes place this summer. You're going to be in Hartford on the 17th, Albany on the 18th, uh, in Stamford, Connecticut in August. So we make sure people catch you there. But catch the podcast. Download it wherever podcasts uh, are available, right? Yeah, number one dad. You could check it out. And, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a fun story, but it's also, you know, it could also be helping people, too, who might be dealing with stuff where they might have cut off a parent or a sibling. Okay. Gary, nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for having me.